five things I learned making my first short film in seven years. Hi, my name is Spencer. I'm a filmmaker. And in recent times, I've made music videos, experimental projects, sketches. But it's been seven years since I've made a proper narrative short film. The film I just made is called The Bottle. I co-wrote it and co-directed it with my best friend, Zach. And the premise is... A grieving man's life takes an unexpected turn when his message in a bottle receives an odd reply back. Now, some of the things I'm about to say kind of go without saying, but were really emphasized to me and I think are worth talking about. One, have a dedicated core crew. I'm talking two to four close collaborators, whether that be your producer, cinematographer, lead actor, co-writer, co-director. You're going to want to have people who are as dedicated to the project as you are and will treat it like their baby. Now, you're going to have a lot of meetings pre and post production going over everything and everyone's going to come at it with their own perspectives, give their input. I can tell you right now, my crew was extremely helpful, thinking of things that I wouldn't have thought of, though you don't want too many cooks in the kitchen. So you as the writer director spearheading the project, you're going to have to make the final call, but with everyone's input Two, plan, plan, plan. I cannot tell you how many short films I've done run and gun, which can be fun but ultimately end up looking pretty sloppy usually. So like I said before, you're gonna want a lot of pre-production meetings, going over the script, shot list, storyboard, logistics, etc. And we spent an entire weekend doing pre-production at our location where we did storyboarding and location scouting. And we actually did a video storyboard, which is super helpful. We basically focus on just your compositions and the actions within the frame. So you have a very bare bones version of your film which is great for pre-visualization. Three, schedule more time than you think you need. If there's anything I learned recently, it's that things in life often end up taking more time than you think they will. In our situation, we shot our film in two and a half days, which, you know, we got it done, but it was very stressful. And our lead actor, Max, mentioned later that if we just had that full three days, that would have been perfect. Definitely would have been a lot less stressful. Also, if you do this, it gives you an opportunity to reshoot things if you need to. And in our situation, our climax takes place during twilight. And we shot it over three different blue hours. And with each session, we got better and better. And we built that into our schedule. And it shows that you got to make the time so that you can take your time. Four, trim the fluff. With each scene, you got to think, do we really need this scene? How is this serving the character or the story or the themes? Now, ideally, you do this in the writing phase, but also during shooting and editing. We had a few scenes that we cut. It was a character just kind of moping around midway through the film. They were redundant, we didn't need them, and we could have used that time to shoot other things. Five, test out your equipment before you go on set because equipment can just randomly stop working. For example, if you're running a cinema camera for your shoot, just bring your DSLR because you never know. In our situation, we're using the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 6K, which is a great camera, and they have a recommended write speed on 6K for 300 megabits per second, but then we had a memory card that was only 280 megabits per second. So some of our shots ended up with drop frames, which we are fixing with AI tools, but you don't want to be in that situation in the first place. So yeah, I'm definitely going to take these lessons into my upcoming short films. And I'm about to submit the bottle to film festivals. So link to the teaser down below. Thanks everyone. Like and subscribe and have a good one.